Yo, what up, everybody? This is Cam Wallace, and you're tuned in to Entertainment Weekly's The Five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> So when did I start making music? Um, I want to say this was back in 2002. I was in the 10th grade. That's when I first got Fruity Loops and I just started working on it, learning how to make beats and just kind of carving out my own sound. Um, my first song, I don't remember my first song, but I definitely remember the first beat. The beat was crazy. Song, not so much, but the beat was crazy. Man. Shout out to this lady named Kim Hatter, friend of the family. Um, she was the first entertainment lawyer that I ever knew. You know, I was kind of going through a rough patch where I was like feeling like I wanted to quit music. This was years ago. Like, you know, I've, I've been through so many ups and downs with this music stuff. Like there's been plenty of times I wanted to quit, but obviously this is my passion. This is what I was put here to do. Um, but yeah, I was going through a little phase and she was uh, nice enough to just meet up with me. She met it, met up with me at Greens Point Mall and she was just like convincing me not to quit. And she was like, yo, just give me a CD, burn me a CD with whatever you got, songs, beats, whatever. And I'll try to just get it to some people that I know. And um, the next time I met up with her, I gave her a CD with like 20 beats on there and Upgrade You was one of the beats that was on there. And um, she passed it along to, you know, some people over at, at Music World. It got to Matthew Knows, it got to Beyonce and the rest is history. Um, the way that it affected my life is crazy. I feel like it was a, uh, it was it was the first placement I ever got. Before this record, I didn't even know what a placement was. So honestly, it's just like a crazy story because it's almost like God just dropped it right down on my lap. Um, but it's it's constantly just been a door opener for me. I feel like um, though that was my first placement and it's been so long, like still to this day. You know i'm talking about it you know what i mean and it's um it's allowed me to get in a lot of different rooms that maybe i wouldn't have been able to get in before so you know i don't know i feel like it's just it's a it's a incredible record and it's impacted the world and it's um took me so many different places so shout out to beyonce so i think people will be surprised to know that even the artist himself might be surprised because i don't even think he knows this but i did a record for big sean like years ago like way way back like he was still big sean but he was like right at the beginning of like signing with good music so quick story shout out to my homie uh sterling brim he um i used to send him beats and stuff all the time just back in the day he's still living in chicago i used to just send him send him beats and he ended up passing one of the beats over to big sean i had no idea about this so later on as years went by i think he forgot about it because sterling ended up moving to la everybody was just in transition so years went by i'm talking about five years passed. i'm at like a kickback in houston and the dj plays the record so i hear my beat and i'm like yo and then i hear big sean rapping over it and i'm like I go over to him. I'm like, yo, that's I, I produced that. That's my beat. What's the name of this song? He told me the name of the song. I went home that night, looked it up, blew my mind. And the crazy part about this whole story is I don't remember the song. I don't remember the name of the song. So y'all gonna have to catch back up with me and I'll let y'all know. I'm definitely got to do my research. This is old. The song is like super old. Um, but I just think it's cool that I got a chance to work with Big Sean you know, early in his career to the point where maybe he don't even realize that I made that beat. So I don't know. I feel like the universe was just manifesting. So Big Sean, let's get some work done. And to add to that, there's definitely tons of artists that I want to work with. New artists and actually like artists who've been around. Um, I really want to work with Brandy. I just think her voice is amazing. She's just like, you know, vocal royalty. Like her voice is just her tone. Everything about it is crazy. Um, I want to work with Charlie Wilson. I feel like his voice is an instrument. Snoop and Pharrell have mastered putting Charlie Wilson on records. Kanye does it too. I love it. Like, I just feel like they go to him specifically because his voice is an instrument. No one else sounds like Charlie Wilson. So I want to do a record with Charlie Wilson. I want to do a record with Stevie Wonder. Definitely get some harmonica play. Um, a lot of my... A lot of the people that I want to work with, it's almost like I want to use their voices like instruments. So honestly, before the pandemic, I already was like working from the crib. Like I do a lot of my stuff like in-house. 
So the pandemic really didn't affect me as far as creating music for myself. I mean, it definitely affected me going to studio sessions and working and writing and producing for other people. So, you know, it, it, um, it actually kind of forced me to be a little bit more productive because I just was like super locked in at the crib more than I already naturally am locked in. Basically just lyrical exercise. You know, I do that from time to time. Like if it's a, if it's a beat that's pretty hard that I like, you know, I might just hop on there and do my little one too and put it out to the world and see what happens. You know what I mean? It's called lyrical exercise. You, you gotta make sure your sword is sharp at all times. I probably say rapping, you know what I mean? Just because that's the foundation of everything for me. Like I started off rapping, writing, you know, lyrics, in, in my little folder or whatever. So for me, that was really the the initiation into like diving deeper into music and just learning more about, you know, music and other genres too. But it all started with hip hop. So I think I would have to say I would want to rap um, just because I like to use my words. And with that, I could still be writing. So yeah, I say rapping. Yo, so huge shout out to Entertainment Weekly. Again, I'm Cam Wallace and this is The Five. I appreciate you guys taking time to get to know a little bit about me. Um, you can follow me on all my social media at Cam I Am Forever, the number four instead of the letter F. I got a new single out right now that's crazy. My first official release from Motown. I'm a newly signed artist at Motown. My single is called We Made It. It's an amazing record. Go check it out. Go stream it. Put your friends on it. Put your people on it. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.